Hello, happy Friday, everyone. How's it going? It seems like it's been forever since I streamed, but it has only been one day. <laughs> Which I guess what it is is it was Worst Game Wednesday, so it just seemed longer for some reason. How's it going, everyone? Also, I haven't been working, so I've been working on the Fry's Quest reference guide. If you haven't taken a look at that, here, let me, uh, I can't type Fry's Quest because it will launch Fry's Quest, but if I go in, mix it up, and act like Fry's Quest. I act like my bot, it shouldn't activate it. There you go. So there's a link down there, and I changed up this description and put a link to, fr to uh, the Fry's Quest documentation in there. If you're interested, it basically outlines all the rules and everything to Fry's Quest. Uh, I spent a couple days just working on that and outlining it. And it was fun doing it because, like, it just kind of reminded me of how much it's changed since the beginning. So... Yeah, my my Atari shirt on. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just like with each time I would write something, I'd be like, oh yeah, I remember when we added that. I remember when we added that. I remember when we added that. It'd be fun to go in and kind of like highlight each part of it. Like uh, like the, the one thing I could think of that was the same is obviously uh, you join <laughs> and you gain experience gold and you level up with fries i think that was it when we first started there was only six players not eight um you could heal you could buy weapon and armor although there was only that they didn't change in the store it was just what you saw in the store so yeah it's it's been fun just seeing it no targeting yeah that none you in fact you didn't do anything you no potions you, during battle, you did nothing. You just watched it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, uh, at the beginning, it was like, there wasn't much to do. <laughs> but we, yeah, we've changed it. We sped it up. We've added potions. We've added prestige leveling. We've added, uh, how the targeting of the monsters goes. Like I wrote a line in there about the targeting of the monsters. Um, gosh, just everything. <laughs> so much, so many changes over the year that we've been playing it. So anyway, it was fun writing it up and I wanted to write it up just one to encourage. I, when I type Fry's quest in the chat, there'll be a link. So if there's any players out there that are like scared of it or don't know what it's all about, uh, there's a reference guide and they can go look it up and see if they want to play. I think the best thing to do if you're thinking about playing Fry's Quest is just to watch people play Fry's Quest because it's not that hard. You just have to kind of uh, understand it and you kind of get it. Um, the store can be a little complex. I, I get that. And that's your first thing you do is the store. And so that can be that can be kind of rough. Anyway, I, I thought it was good to, to do. And then as I add new features, I will go in and and add stuff in there also i wanted to what started it was wanting to have pictures of all the hairstyles and also like on the you know on the edge where i have kind of the i don't know what do i call that i call that the info panel uh this thing right here this area i'm also like during when we're in the store i'm running out of space <laughs> so i wanted to be able to free up some space by saying Hey, go check out uh, friesquest.com if you want to uh, know more about it. And that that way, and, and also I wanted pictures of all the hairstyles, which is which is in there too. If you don't want to sit there and flip through hair one, hair two, hair three, hair four, um, hair zero, you can um, you can see what it is. It also lists all the colors that are available as well. Anyway, that's basically what I did <laughs> for the last couple of days. Uh, yeah, let's get back to Pokemon X. We had just obtained the Pokey Flute, and now I think we need to go back and head back towards the Snorlax and wake it up and see what happens. I assume if it's like Pokemon Red, we'll probably get attacked by the Snorlax. Okay, that's fine. Poor Snorlax, he just wanted to sleep. Um, 
And yeah, as always, we can take a break and play a game off the arcade like Galica. Galica's never there. <laughs> um, doesn't have to be Galaga. It can be any of the games on that arcade list. And if I beat the high score, I'll put your name on the high score list. Let's play some... Let's get back to Pokemon. I always, I always put it back. I always load it up because uh, where I've been having trouble is, is when it begins. So I always want to make sure it's working properly so we don't waste time me just trying to get the 3DS working. All right, so... I went through this whole place. I didn't find a library, so I think I'm just going to go um, back to the Snorlax. Out of my way, lady. You would think you're, you're sitting here uh, roller blading. You would run into people. I thought there was like a different way to go. Like... We're here. Here comes my friend. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the Poke Flute? Oh, that's right. We have to take it back, too. Yes. Thanks. Well, you're the one. Let's see. Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? I don't want to stop it. I, I'm going to try and capture it. Yes. It Feel, uh, feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay. I guess I'll start playing. What is, what is Snorlax? Is he just like a normal? That's very good timing. <laughs> he does look like he's having the best nap of his life. <laughs> All right, let me... Uh... He looks dead. Yeah. <laughs> I said in the last stream that he needs to get a CPAP or, you know, something to keep his mouth closed or something. All right. Um, well. I guess they, they've played the pokey flute. They want me to go put the Snorlax in. Do you want to talk for a little bit while I go do that? It won't take very long. Snorlax is easy to, is easy to get into. All right, here's Neil. Hey, everybody. Hope y'all are doing well. We had tacos for dinner. Tacos, tacos. Um, hey, hey guys. Um, not much going on. Been applying for jobs. Haven't had anything hit yet, but I'm still working on it. Trying to figure out which direction to go. Do I want to do developing or cybersecurity or the same crap I was doing or who knows? <laughs> Uh, the Snorlax. Yeah, he does look dead. Maybe it's because he's upside down. Not much going on uh, otherwise. Um, one of our daughters has gone off on a trip by herself. and It's been a little quiet around the house. I guess I don't have one of my crazy rants to go on right now. <laughs> oh, here he is. He's back. Hi, guys. I was reminded that this thing has pockets uh, in the side. As I was trying to put my arm through this hole, it kept coming out this pocket. <laughs> That's... That's not working. That's not working. We all love Neil. He has doubts, but, you know, we remind him. All right, the Snorlax has been woken up. There we go. All 
All right, let's see what what's going to happen here. I'm curious. He opened his eyes wide and were attacked. I had a feeling I was going to get attacked, so. <laughs> yeah, do I need to remove the maze when he comes on camera? All right, Snorlax is level 15. He looks happy. <laughs> Okay, I am going to try and capture it, so. <laughs> Here, let's try and poison him. Did that hurt? Did it hurt me? Ooh, it hurt me quite a bit. Let's try and poison him again. Come oh, on, poison him. Oh, now I'm paralyzed. One more. One more. Oh, I'm poisoning him. Yeah, that's gonna kill me. Poor Buzz. He was level 15. Hmm. He is, I don't know what he is. I assume he's normal. He's bulky and so tough to take down. Yeah, I, I figured the, uh, the poison needle couldn't uh, penetrate his belly. Um, here we have poison powder. I'm just trying to poison him because, you know, any... When you're trying to capture something, it's better to have a status effect on them. Oh, did that not happen? Did nothing happen? Oh, he's immune. I didn't, I wasn't reading. I wasted an attack. Well, let's, uh, let's seed him. <laughs> he is normal, okay. I didn't realize Takedown had recoil. Oh, what did he eat? A citrus berry. back down to yellow. I'd like to get him further down. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe after the seed. Yeah, let's try it now. And we're going to use, we have the Ultra Balls. We have an Ultra Ball, so we're going to try an Ultra Ball. Oh, whoa. <laughs> he was like, no. <laughs> yeah, see, now he's down to red. I'm going to try again. Great ball. I hate that the ultra ball didn't work. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. 
All right, he's got a, he's got like a sliver of laugh left. Come on. All right, we're gonna try one more ultra ball or great ball. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who was it? Dark passenger. All right, what do you want to name it? <laughs> yeah, Jacques with the win. Odor, all right, there you go. That's a good one. Got a lot of leveling up. Oh yeah, water sport. Oh, I thought Water Sport did something. The user soaks itself with water, weakens fire type moves for five turns. No, no we, we don't need that. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, this is Sprinkle. Okay. No, no, we don't need it. I thought maybe this was uh, uh, someone else. I keep all those. <laughs> it is unexpected. It is unexpected. <laughs> been doing hey how's it going up to what were you up to what are you playing uh playing control okay how was how did it go how was it going are you ready for is this uh I would assume you're going back to class soon. It's such a good game. Is that one that's on my list? I don't think that's on my list. Oh, Monday, I'm sorry. I go back to work on Monday, so I know how you feel. <laughs> it's been nice having the whole week off. Um, but I, I'm kind of worried about Monday because like, I've been sleeping in a lot. <laughs> At least to 10.30 in the morning. And I can't do that on those nights, or on those days uh, when I have to go to work. And so I am, I'm worried about Monday. <laughs> worried about Monday. But hopefully it won't be too bad. <laughs> All right, well, thanks again. So Hope, how about, I always love Hope's clips on her stream. So hopefully someone has done some really good clips. Uh, so let's play a clip real quick from Hope June and go <laughs> and go give her a follow. Let's see. All right, here we go. Oh wait, okay, here we go. All right, we got two that go at the same. Oh, it's time. Ori in the Blind oh. Forest. And there's a piece right there. I can't save on these cubes. Uh oh. No saving on a cube. Okay, I'm nervous. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't I save up there? Why didn't I save up there? <laughs> the frustration. The frustration in your eyes. <laughs> or in your face. <laughs> well, we just caught a Snorlax. We caught a Snorlax. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. Holy crap. When it is done eating, it it goes promptly to sleep. That sounds great. If we could all be Snorlax. I don't know about 880 pounds of food, though. The second one, and you're so excited. Cool. So there's a control two, <laughs> is what you're saying? Or a, oh, a control Ori. Ori in the Will of the Wisps. So you know, Ori and the Will of the Wisp was my first 
game that I played on Twitch. So if you want a very silent J fries, because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't know how to stream yet. You can go look at that, or if you get stuck in a in a in a, in a place, go look it up. It's on YouTube. I always drag it out uh, when we do a, a stream anniversary. I always love showing the the moment I started streaming, which was terrible. So, and I'm just so quiet, and I guess it's because when you're first starting out, you know, no one's watching you, and so you just don't know how to react or, or anything. I've learned you talk, you act. I, I've since then turned off. I don't know how many people are ever watching me. I turn it off, and I just go as if there's, you know, however many people are going. Yeah. When you're a flesh. Nice. Well, congratulations. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always like, um, uh, like I'm always debating whether to, uh, do I, I always celebrate my start of my streaming, not my affiliate. I started streaming in April and then I got affiliate in July and I always feel like I want to start when I started streaming. So anyway, all right. Hodor is what, uh, dark passenger. Yeah. Dark passenger wanted us to name this Joe D O R Hodor I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it I can scroll back up H yeah that's it all right we'll get, we're gonna go pick up Hodor so we've got to have him in our party Awesome, you caught Snorlax. Er, or What? Oh. The only thing I can do with that Pokey Flute is put it on display. But you've been playing since you were little and the tone is lovely. It seems like my Furfru also likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as it likes my beautiful Wonderfru fireworks, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure and practice more. Okay, so I guess he's letting him keep it. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. Well, there's probably a lot more, so let's go heal. Let's go this way. Out of my way. Come on, let's go. Can we please go in? Okay, let's let's look at our Pokemon real quick and see who we're gonna get rid of. Oh, Buzz is dead. Long live Buzz. All right, so Buzz, what is Buzz? Buzz is bug poison. I don't think I've ever had a bug poison Pokemon. Well, we can't get rid of Izzy. Flappy Bird is normal flying. Okay. Ivysaur is grass poison. I kind of like the Ivysaur. Jacques. So I think we'll keep him. Uh, Pampour. I, I, you know, I really don't like these. But he has water, so I think we're going to keep him. Peaches is bug flying. So we have a bug and we have flying. So I think if we were going to get rid of something, this uh, Vivalon would be the one. All right, what do y'all think? Which one should we get rid of? Of course, we have a, we have a poison as well. So we could keep... We could get rid of Buzz, which I'm not so in love with Buzz. Buzz could go. Although we did give him cut, so we're going to have to give someone else cut. Um, but Peaches isn't all that great either. Any thoughts? Or I will decide. <laughs> My thought is Peaches. But we will go... Where's the PC? 
There's usually a PC here. Oh, there it is. It's only right next to the desk. Uh, we're going to deposit a Pokemon. Uh, we said sp no. Oh, there they are. Does he have anything? He has no item. Okay. Pause it. Draw. <laughs> I like how his little icon is him sleeping. Get, let's get our heel on. <laughs> Alright, he's level 14. Alright, so we're just gonna keep him in this in this order. Let's save. All right. So I guess we're going to go up past this bridge. It's the Pokemon Daycare. We take care of your precious Pokemon. I'm, I don't, I've never liked that. Oh, it's these people. Oh, hey, Jay Meister. Trev said he wants to check out the Pokemon Daycare. Come with us. I guess I have no choice. This is the Pokemon Daycare. They take care of Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed. You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right, sometimes we'll find a new addition like an egg. If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it. Wow, a Pokemon will come out. Maybe if I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having the same Pokemon with the same moves might set up my dance up. Oh my God. How about you, Jay Meister? Maybe I will. There aren't any Pokemon I want to raise. I'll try it on some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm going to go look for some Pokemon for my dance team. He's always thinking about dancing. Hey, wait, Tierno. Uh, wait up. Um, I guess, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Of course, I'm going to have to deposit some Pokemon just to do that. We'll just deposit uh, and then draw. Uh, well, we just wow, we just dropped off peaches, so we'll bring peaches back. Level five. Uh, let's let's do the quacklin. Although y'all said, um, here, we'll do this one. Oh, he's a fighting. Yeah, let's do him. Okay. 
I wish I wish she could just access. This would be much easier if she could just access the uh, the computer herself. Um, that was this one. back and wrinkle oh, it makes it look like we haven't caught any Pokemon make sure I got them in the order I like them nope. all right bye thanks for raising my Pokemon <laughs> Who's this dude? Glad you came. Your pandemonium and peaches are just are doing just fine. Uh, the two prefer to play with other Pokemon more than with each other. Thanks. Who are these people? A heated battle against the traveling trainer should provide me with just the inspiration I need. It's, it's Painter Jacques. Oh no. Artis Georgia. Oh my goodness, that's like a painter Pokemon. Oh, it's like a fire Pokemon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a dog? Oh yeah, it is kind of a dog-like Pokemon now that I look at it. It's kind of like Snoopy. How's it going, Growlithe? Oh shit. My berry. I like how the item pops out and you can see it going. That smears paint, is that what it is? Smeargle? <laughs> Only one it learns and it learns at every level. Zero, oh, okay. Is it psychic? Oh. And then I'll lick it. I don't have any fighting Pokemon, but we got him. Oh good, Buzz screw up to level 15. Ah, she only had one Pokemon. Yeah, that's the one gap I kind of have in my Pokemon, is I don't have a fighting Pokemon. Hey, Madbeard! You want me to play... Uh, what would you like me to play? That was good timing, so I could save it. Fuck! Alright. Haha! <laughs> 
It copies the move and keeps it. Interesting. Yeah, I, well, I was noticing it was kind of adapting to what I was, like, putting in there, though. So. All right. The Mad Beard would like us to play Hook in Arcade Mode! Are you a Peter Pan fan, Madbeard? That move replaces Sketch. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see here. Hey, Snowy. First Halloween costume in Emily's Peter Pan. Well, there you go. <laughs> I don't remember too. I've obviously played this game, but I don't remember too much about it. That's the high score we're trying to beat. And I don't remember if that's a good high score or a bad high score. Unpredictable. So it seemed like it was, it was pretty hard. Yeah, we're playing Hook. This is based off the adult Peter Pan. I, I don't know. When are they going to start making uh, Steamboat Willie video games, I guess? Peter Pan! Rufio! <laughs> I think it is. I think it is supposed to be based on the movie Hook. Ace. Divinity Original Sin. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, well, let's play some hook here. I guess we'll play one of each character. Thank <laughs> you. 
His chickens are attacking him. Got like 349. Hey, Oceanic, how's it going? Thanks for the lurk. A horror slasher movie coming out. I saw that there was a steamboat, Willie. <laughs> I didn't beat the high score. It was interesting. Three forty two. There you go, three forty two. All right, let's see. Rufio. I wonder if he plays different.
I literally kicked his ad ass. <laughs> It seemed like I had more Peter Pans. Did I get like an extra? I must have gotten an extra guy as Peter Pan. Sixty-seven. I, I did die. Rufy. Ace. Ace. I don't remember Ace.
Right. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Welcome, Raiders! Hey, Green Bear! Thank you so much for the raid! I'll be right with you. That guy who kept jumping on my head was just really hurting me. Hey, how's it going? Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> oh, y'all are, are Googling uh, who, who this character was now. <laughs> hey, Murray, how's it going? Welcome, everybody. I'm Jay Fries. I hope y'all enjoyed Green Bear. Where, where are you up to? City of Heroes. Yeah, so so uh was that just last night? Uh so we made uh so I was in Green Bear's stream last night and he took me through just to kind of introduce everybody the character creation in City of Heroes and we made a, a new character called Captain Fry. <laughs> and it was interesting. I was I was amazed at uh um how versatile and I guess you would have to be for a hero game. How versatile that the uh, the character creation was. How much you could do. You could sit. I could see you sitting it in hours, just creating your characters, and that's probably you know part of the fun of it, right? Is creating your own hero, coming up with the backstory, and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty cool. If y'all didn't hear, uh, NCSoft like ended City of Heroes. Uh, well, somewhere in the, what, the mid-2010s, and uh, private servers. People t got the code and started running their own servers, and it was living. And a few days ago, uh, that uh, City of Heroes Homecoming had uh, just got a, a license. Of, uh, they're able to run it uh, and keep it free and everything like that, so it's pretty cool. All the costumes for his characters and explaining costume. It is. It's an amazing how much, how much there is there. And like I said, it, it seems like you know if you're doing a superhero, of course you're going to be able to do that. Um, I also was reading up on the game, and I noticed that at one point Marvel sued NC Software for it, and it was probably you know because people were recreating their favorite heroes and and villains inside the game, and so they probably have to keep a tight control on that especially if it's going to be a really licensed server at this point <laughs> exactly i figured that's what it was right and the thing is with both marvel and dc those those have been around for so long that there's such a uh 
a, a back catalog of rare <laughs> of rare heroes that they don't all that you don't see in the current like movies and stuff like that there's there's so much you could like dig into and, and make so pretty pretty cool though anyway thanks we're we're sitting here playing hook um i just realized you know i don't have or hold on just a second i i changed away um how i do my uh clips and so now I need to kind of look uh, and fix this real quick so that I can do play people's clips in arcade mode. So let me add a source real quick. There it is. And, uh, it probably needs to be above all that stuff. Okay, I think that's it. Powers, of, what were the powers of Captain Fry? So Captain Fry was a, you have to remind me what he was. He was, what I, what my, what I was envisioning was that he had giant fries and that he would like hit people with these giant fries. That's what I was envisioning. Um, we could kind of do that. Uh, we had kind of a fire sword that looked kind of like a, a, a spiky fry because <laughs> it was yellow. And, uh, and so that's kind of what it was yeah it would have been cool a mace with sp fry spikes would have been would have been good too <laughs> learn how to do clips with shout outs ah yeah 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 that's fine yeah i use this thing called sidekick uh and it's pretty easy you just go to i think sidekick.gg here i can look it up real quick it's called efuse uh, Efuse GG slash sidekick. And it's pretty self explanatory if you go in there. It gives you a browser source and you can just put it into OBS. If you know anything about browser, if you know anything about OBS, you know how to make a, a, a browser source. And that's pretty much it. You just kind of put in your own commands and, and, uh, and just set up the browser source. A waffle shield, <laughs> fry shield. Well, his armor was was all kind of red and yellow, and I was thinking of kind of like the McDonald's, uh, kind of case with fries. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> okay. Um. What? Well, let me do it. Let's do a uh, a quick shout out. Let's do a clip from the Green Bear. Thank you so much. And if you want to, he usually does Warframe and with the renewed interest of uh, City of Heroes, I'm sure I'll be playing that more often. So yeah, go give him a follow. Bring your bad ass self on in here. Sit your bad ass self on down. There you Make go. Make us all a little more badass by you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you being here with all of us yes welcome to the badass brigade a uh, tip of the hat to you and a scratch of the back ah, i hope you're having a great new year and everything is going well for you and uh welcome in <laughs> there you go that's a great that's a great clip that's like perfect uh for uh for these type of situations <laughs> that's perfect <laughs> perfect <laughs> all right let's um so we're in the middle of arcade mode yeah it was perfect it was a perfect clip <laughs> it was a perfect clip <laughs> couldn't have been set up any better um all right let's uh let's play uh one more game of hook and then we'll get back to some pokemon <laughs> that works as an intro <laughs> totally 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 I, we have a we have a choice between pockets and thud butt, but just because his name's thud butt, we're gonna play thud butt. <laughs> just because I want to play thud butt. Yeah. 
Crap, I died right at the end there. No, <laughs> I don't remember this. Yeah, I loved he turned around and kind of did this and it, like it, he was literally thud butt. was literally thud butt. He was sure was bouncing. <laughs> wow, a side scroller based on Annie. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, it did come out quite a while ago. It started Robin Williams as Peter Pan. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that was the name of the movie was Hook. Guess that's kind of what it's showing there. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I've heard. You know, I don't remember much about that uh, that movie, honestly. All right, let's uh, let's play some Price Quest. <laughs> You're gonna watch it now, huh? <laughs> Welcome to Neil's Deals. We're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. And I see that my my connection to my game has kale has been has died. I will try and fix that. <laughs> it needed to exist. <laughs> hey, Tuzo. How's it going? Oh, you know, I added a quick uh, reference, uh, a ref reference guide. Sorry, a reference guide. I don't know if it's all quick. It's kind of long. If you go to friesquest.com, you can go check out the instructions to Fry's Quest. If you want to know the details or how to play Fry's Quest, it's pretty easy. I think you can just kind of watch people and understand how to play it. But ready for action. Today is a okay. good day to fry. I think that I think that fixed it. That did. Ready for battle. 
did not. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Good luck. You'll certainly need it. All right, Bob Hoskins as a pirate costume does sound interesting. I, that's, I was waiting for someone to mention Bob Hoskins. <laughs> All right, I will be right back. See you in a second. Something, will ya? Ready for action. Today is a good day to fry. Ready for action. Ready for battle.
Ready for action. Ready? What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Ready for action. Don't you know who my husband is? Get out of here!
today only. 2% off when you spend 10,000 or more. Ready for battle. What do you mean I need to be ready? And where's the cheese? Where's the cheese for these fries that I ordered? Ready for battle. Today is a good day to fry. Ready for battle. I used to be an adventurer like you, until I took an arrow in the knee. I'm back. Ah. Oh, shipwreck, did you? Also, prestige? How did I miss that? You did! Nice! I didn't realize you were going to level 20. I looked over there and you were level 1, and I was like, <laughs> Are your fries more salty, seasoned, or hot? Well, um, well, I love, I, Neil will tell you, he's not here right this second, but he will tell you that I require that when I get French fries, I want them hot. French fries are the best when they're hot. I mean, I like them salty too. I actually don't like them seasoned. Uh, or that Cajun seasoning like Arby's puts on their fries. I actually don't like them. Um, uh, but yeah, salt. I like uh, Five Guys uh, fries are really good. Uh, we have a place here called Burger Fi. They're really good. Uh, where they're kind of like almost like natural potatoes that have been sliced. <laughs> so, so hot is what I would say. Oh no, Growlithe Cub died! No. Are you able to keep your gold? Well, that's a choice, Dark Passenger. You have a choice of three things you can keep. You can peek, keep your armor, you can keep your weapon, or you can keep your gold. You have a choice of which one you want to keep. With a French fry, I got it. <laughs> I've heard that's really good, Evil Bud. Dipping them in the. Uh... You're glad gold. I knew you would like gold as a choice. <laughs> yeah, I, th I, I don't think I've ever tried that. That must be really good. I've heard of it. I've heard of people dipping their fries in chocolate frosties. Or Frosties, because I don't think there's any other type of Frosty than chocolate.
Oh, Murray died too. He must have fallen asleep. We're gonna th we're gonna assume he fell asleep. <laughs> Are you talking about the uh, the chocolate frosty green bear, or uh, the frosty dipped in or <laughs> fries dipped in a frosty? There is different frosties. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Which one did what did you decide to keep? Uh shift back. Let me scroll back up and see. Uh weapon. You so say you kept your weapon. So you got the axe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have like you have you have zero armor. 25 weapon. I guess I could have looked and seen that you have the 25 weapon. Vanilla and strawberry. Oh, okay, I didn't even know they had that. Snorlax life. I'm actually kind of hot in the Snorlax right now. I turned the air conditioning down. It's actually a little bit hotter today in Florida. The high today was 77. Although it's supposed to thunderstorm and get cold again. Yeah, I figured they probably did. You know, when I said there's only chocolate ones, I thought, hey, I bet you they did a peppermint one. For the holidays. Oh my goodness. Dark Passenger, almost the whole row. If you die, the whole front row will have died. <laughs> How's the back row looking? Back row's not looking too good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Evil Bud and Kai at level 11. There you go. And Cobra at level 8. This is doable. As a Pop-Tart Dreams play too come true. <laughs> exactly. Getting, getting lowered into the toaster. <laughs> That is still the wildest thing I've ever seen in a video game. In fact, they're they're working on a new uh, college football game, uh, EA Sports College Football, and I'm sorry, but there's got to be uh, a Pop Tart <laughs> mascot in that game, or, or nothing. <laughs> it was good marketing. It was good marketing. Uh-oh, this is not looking good. There you go. A lot I'm seeing a lot of potions there. Pop Tart should be QB. <laughs> so the, the NCAA football games had mascot mode where you could you could play as the mascots. Now they were all the same mascot versus all the same mascot. Yeah. Or golden brown? I would say that's a good question. I would say yellow. Like, kind of look. See, that's the Fry's Quest logo right there. They kind of look yellow. Well, I don't know. They look kind of a golden, golden color. Phoenix down. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about that. We've talked about that. A, a, uh, you die, you come back item. Question is, what's Kai gonna do? Oh, he didn't do it. <laughs> a lot of potions. A lot of potions. Uh, a lot of potions still left. Uh, yeah. You're like, yeah, I figured that's what you were doing. All right. Well, I'm sorry, adventurers. Every once in a while, I, I have to let the monsters win. It boosts their confidence. All right. Hold on. The, the 3DS connection crashed. Okay. There it goes. While you were away.
yeah, I'm pretty sure when uh, some of those higher level characters didn't potion up, I was like, oh, this is going to be bad. Murray at level 16. Uh, who else didn't potion? Madbeard at 10, maybe. So. Yeah, you're, you're getting there. You're getting pretty close to being able to prestige again. All right, we, we took on that person. And here's another person. Um, so J Prize, about how many Pokemon here, Neil's gone. Uh about how many Pokemon have you seen? Do you want to compare Pokedexes and find out who has been more kind of Pokemon? I'm sure you have. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. Sure. So you've seen forty six. I've seen 50, so I guess I win. Oh, so you've seen Ralts too. Just knowing about the same Pokemon as someone else can sure make you happy. You know, I've, but I have a Snorlax in my party, so screw you, kid. Is this a double battle? I know, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, Kai. You there, you're the perfect model for our next painting. Show us a magnificent display in battle to get this painting started. Hey, Chaizu, it's going well. It's going well. We're in some sort of painter land. Looks like it's... Oh, it's these things. goal. <laughs> Someone was saying a smearing paint beagle. Smear goal. Almost got him. I don't have more. Yay, yeah, finally poisoned. Holy, holy crap. Some normal attacks. There. <laughs> Boom, just one hit. <laughs> oh, it's leveled up. Twenty-five. The user damages the target twice in succession by jabbing it with two spikes. Oh, okay, and it may and it may poison as well. I think we'll get rid of string shot. There we go.
All these leveling ups. Yeah. 50 bait. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Give me your money. Ooh, seventeen ninety-two. Thank you. I feel like I'm stealing from these people. Um, I did get a Snorlax, which I'm very excited about. In fact, we're going to uh, switch him at the front so that he can get some uh, time. Who is this guy? Oh. J Fries, do you know about this building? It's called the Battle Chateau, and it's famous for being a place where trainers gather to improve their skills. <laughs> That's kind of what I did. Yes. <laughs> uh, Kalos is eight gym leaders. Okay. Now what? I don't care about that. If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should you pair up? Let's go with uh, Tierno and Trevor against J Meister and me. Sure. Since we're neighbors, we might as well battle together. <laughs> so that he'd have his own Snorlax onesie. He doesn't like wearing, he does not like being hot. And sometimes these are pretty hot. If we did not live in Florida, I might be able to convince him. He, I would say he would, he would definitely be like Snorlax. <laughs> One, I I hear him in the other room snoring on the couch. So Snorlax is sleeping in the other room. And also I like laying on him as a giant pillow. So So I would say of like Snorlax's attributes, Neil, it definitely he should be wearing the Snorlax one too. This might fit him. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like I was saying earlier, it's 77 degrees today. It's like it's it's warmed up. All right, what do we got here? Tackle, lick, defensive curl, and amnesia. I'm not sure what amnesia does, but we will do tackle. We will tackle Pikachu. Oh, she's controlling the other one. There you go, Snorlax. Why aren't they bringing out more more Pokemon? Okay, they are. Um, I'll do tackle one more time. La baby, la baby. I don't know what that is. I barely see it. It's so tiny. Um, I'm gonna try lick. Hopefully, it's not not normal.
I was pretty sure it wasn't. It's a baby flower? Okay. So it's grass. Yeah, I was gonna say, that wasn't very effective. It's fairy, okay. That may be the first fairy that I've attacked. attack. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I licked it to death. <laughs> hey, this was, I don't think that was the first fairy. Remember, fairy is a new type. <laughs> it does become fairy grass later. Uh. <laughs> so you can't learn everything just from the Pokedex, I see. And then they paid us $3,000. Our friends paid us $3,000. Pokey bucks. I'm sure it's, uh, I'm, it sure, it sure is interesting to see how different trainers style is. Well, I guess we should head off to Ambria town. It's a photo spot. The signboard indicates a photo spot. You can fill the photo guy. Oh, fill the photo guy. Fill the photo guy. There's another photo. How am I playing two games in a row that have photo guys? <laughs> sure. I want to see him twirl. Oh, why didn't he twirl from the sky? Oh, oh, we're we're controlling it. Oh, let me let me line it up. How do I take a picture? That's like shutter speed. Oh, R. Hold on, I'm trying to take a picture. <laughs> hey, Phoebe. <laughs> Abby, welcome. Hold on, I'm taking a picture. There we go! Hey, hey, hey Foamy! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> How's it going? Fuzzy Pickles! Exactly, I forgot! How, how can I forget Fuzzy Pickles? <laughs> how was is, how is your uh, stream? <laughs> Ooh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I do have all the Assassin's Creed games on the list. So eventually we're going to get to, to Assassin's Creed. Well, welcome everybody. Stream went well. Are you, uh, are you an Assassin's Creed fan? And enjoying the game? Cool. Cool. Yeah, we're, we're sitting here playing Pokemon X. Uh, we played a little bit of Hook off of the arcade machine, and now we're playing Pokemon X. Hey, Mr. Griebster. XY is your favorite. Nice. As always, this is my first playthrough <laughs> of these Pokemon games. But well, it's been great. It's your first time playing through any? I have played a few of the Assassin's Creed games, but not to completion. So that's why I put it on my list. I have a ton of them already, and so I was like, hey, you know, let's just uh, let's play through these. Um, but no, no one's voted on them, so we haven't played any of them yet. Um, <laughs> nice, nice. So yeah, so I've been, uh, it, what's been great, what I was going to say about Pokemon was, it's been cool being able to see the evolution of all of the games. I was so happy that I, and this is kind of why I do this, is... I love playing games from the beginning, from the first version, and seeing how they evolve over over time. And we've gone from, what, the late 90s to the early 2010s now in games of Pokemon. And it's funny how they're still got that root core, but they're kind of, uh, they've kind of 
they've done uh, so many updates to it, just quality of life updates to it. So anyway, thank, thanks again for the raid. Uh, let's play a. As I was saying, I was taking uh, I was taking a photo. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do a clip. And y'all should go give him a follow. Uh-oh, what did I do? I didn't do it right. I did slash. And that isn't the command. There we go. Dead by daylight. What? That was bullshit. I was around that corner. <laughs> that was absolute bullshit. I think it kind of went around the corner, too. <laughs> thanks again. I'm sorry the ads started running. But thanks again, and y'all should go give Phobia 14 a follow. It's totally a snipe shot. All right, let me uh, turn the audio back on. It's annoying. So while I am streaming this game off of my 3DS here. The audio has to come from this audio cable, right? Now it's coming. Um, and because of that, it comes through the mixer in a different, like, it's not in the scene. And so it's always on. So it's not tied. I wonder if I could tie it somehow to the scene. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Alright, let's save this photo. But thanks again for the for the raid. Oh, it put it in my 3DS camera. Okay. Oh, do I have to give him a tip? Sure, I'll give him a tip. Uh, not all my money. Holy crap, 100 is my only choice? Well, we're going to give him 100, I guess. That seems that's awfully generous. Pokemon Pokemon Ami No? <laughs> Since I don't know what that is. Pokemon Ami? What is that? You have a natural talent as a model. Right. Oh, do we have to go through the cave? Let's just go over the cave. Oh well, it's like you have no choice. Shortcut to Ambriet Town. Well, what was the other one? It's another raid! Welcome everybody! Snow Elf! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome! <laughs> what is this thing? Connecting Cave Ahead. This is your shortcut to Crylage City. The Ambriot shortcut is, is selfless here. All right, so so we know what, what we need to do here. Hold on. Welcome. Hey, Raiders. Hey, Snow Elf. How How was your stream? Ah. Oh, there you go. You got it. You got it. Final Fantasy 8-7. How is Final Fantasy VII? Oh, the remake. I haven't, you know what? I'm the only Final Fantasy, this is boggles people's minds. Only one I've played is Final Fantasy, the first one, and I played it on stream. That was the first Final Fantasy I played. Although I've played, I've played a lot of the Kingdom Hearts games, and so everyone keeps saying that kind of counts. So, because there are Final Fantasy characters in at least the second one. No, they was in the first one too. Well, thanks, Snow Elf. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, everybody. I'm Jay Fries. Play a lot of retro variety. I, I try to play off the original hardware. Like we're playing, you can see I set the the 3DS. A lot of people ask, well, how do you how do you stream off the 3DS? And what you have to do is you can kind of Google it and look for it's a soft mod, meaning it's a software solution, and basically you're you're changing the OS, making some changes to it. And then you, you don't want to ever update the OS after that. 
and it just it basically you can run a, a system uh, a, a thing on your PC called Snickerstream, and it and it basically sends the picture of your DS to the that, and then I can capture that in OBS. So uh, I should do Final Fantasy or like I am actually, yeah. Uh, just vote uh, when we're actually we're going to be voting soon. Actually, so after I finish Pokemon, we're going to be voting again. So please, and now we are doing them in U.S. release order. So it will be Final Fantasy 2, but it's actually Final Fantasy 4. Um, because we're, 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 I'm in the U.S. And I decided early on that that's what we were going to do. So they're all, they're all in a weird... Yeah, they're all in a weird order. They're in the U.S. order. I remember there was a meme once that I saw that was like, you know, you're numbering things and it, they number it that way, just like the Final Fantasies. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy is definitely on the list. And so it makes it. Well, also, when I buy it, it will be the Super Nintendo version and it will say Final Fantasy 2 on it. <laughs> I am going to come back to Final Fantasy 2. Uh, it was released in the U.S., but when it was released in the U.S., it was kind of later. Final Fantasy Tactic Advance I do not have on the list. I do have... Here, let me look at my list real quick. Let me pull up my list. I do have... I do have... Uh, let me type Final Fantasy. Oh, there it was. I have Final Fantasy Adventure on the game... Uh, the Game Boy on there. And the reason is... That's the first secret of mana, right? <laughs> so I don't have tactics on there. But I remember when tactics came out, I had a friend who loved Final Fantasy tactics. That's like all he could talk about. <laughs> yeah, on the voting, it says Final Fantasy. Uh, what? Did, how did I put it? I put Final Fantasy 2 and then I put 4 in parentheses saying, you know, this is actually Final Fantasy 4. Um, yeah, so the order I have is 2, 3, 7, 8, 5, 9, 10, 2, X2, or 10, 2, 7, uh, the Dirge of Cerber Cerberus, uh, Final Fantasy 7, uh, Final Fantasy 12, Final Fantasy 3, Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 on the PSP, Final Fantasy 13, 13 2, Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13, Hype 0, 15, and 16. <laughs> hey, I've been doing, uh, Kingdom Hearts, and believe me, that's been a that's been a ride, right? <laughs> Especially understanding the story of Final Fan uh, of uh, Kingdom Hearts. Oh my God! But it's been fun. I, I've I've enjoyed it. All right, let's do uh, let's do a clip real quick from Snow Elf, and thanks once again for. Uh, that's going to be a lot of hours. Well, we've we've determined that this is like uh, we'll never finish this list. By the way, I will have retired. Twitch will have died. I don't know. Hopefully, I will not have died. Um, I, I, you know, we'll see. We're, we're, there's a lot of games on this list, and that's kind of why I like you, let you all vote, too. All right, here's a clip from Snow Elf, and uh, y'all should go give him a follow. Thanks for the raid again. <laughs> Unfollowed. Wow. And look at this. Wow. Birth by Sleep. We just played that. Hold that was the last second. one we played. This melding stuff, like, I did not understand it at first. It took me a while. This well, that's, okay. that's basically Final Fantasy for you. Thanks. <laughs> you uh, just played it? For the unfollow. I, really appreciate I just played it, it too. It's so much better without you around. <laughs> much more peaceful. You died 200 times. <laughs> Well, thanks again for the raid. Yeah, I literally just just finished 
Kingdom Hearts, uh, Birth by Sleep. Well, no, I'm sorry. We did Birth by Sleep. Oh, great. Now I, now I don't even remember. Where's my list? Where's my list? Okay. Yeah, we played Earthbound in between that. We played Birth by Sleep, Mario Brothers, Earthbound, Mario 2, and now we're on Pokemon X. We're playing Last Story next, and then uh, Jedi Survivor. So, yeah, thank you so much. Kingdom Hearts is so much confusion. It's, well, what I always say is they, um, we just got out of the hospital. Oh, that's nice of you. Did Jay Fry say hi? He'll play for eternity. Oh, well, that's good to know, Shrek. <laughs> that's good to know. That frightens me, too. Now, there's, there's so many games on here. Well, that's why I keep going. Like, you know, uh, some of y'all are like, why, why aren't you 100%ing these games? I'm like, you do not understand how many games are on this list. We've got to roll the credits and move on. Next. Next. Keep going. Keep going. I, but it's been, it's been fun. <laughs> um, I did get, uh, well, I did get the next worst game Wednesday game. Here, let me go get it off the shelf. I think my headphones go all the way back to the back shelf. Hold on. It's a giant white label. We're playing. <laughs> so the first Wednesday in, in a month, we play the worst game. And we spun a big wheel to pick the next worst game. It came in, and it's on the PS5. We're going to be playing Lord of the Rings Golem. So thanks for the Lurk Snow Elf, and thanks again for the raid. So, so it came in today. <laughs> $20 on Amazon. Yeah, so that'll be... What, what I think is funny is this will be after... Well, depending on how long it takes to play Last Story, which I'm worried. Uh, because it's Justin. Um, if Xenoblade took six weeks, who knows? Anyway, uh, it'll be either the first or second game I'll play on the PS5. So I'm a little concerned. All right. Ah, oh, man. A lot of raids tonight. Thank you all so much for the raids. I, I really do appreciate it. Go up from Gollum. There you go. Yeah, Xenoblade was fun. I did enjoy Xenoblade. I really loved the, the story. Yeah, and I used a... Uh, I used the gift card, so I didn't actually pay any money. Oh my goodness, it's a Swirlix. Is Hodor going to just crush this thing? I played E.T., actually. E.T. was the first Worst Game Wednesday. So if you go over to YouTube, uh, you can go go watch me play E.T. And that was fun, actually, playing E.T. Because... Hold on, let me, let me crush this thing real quick. Um, we had to hook it up through a VCR. So my husband still has his Atari 2600, and he had E.T., and um, it was fun because we had to get a VCR and we had to hook the VCR, the Atari 2600 to the VCR because it had to be on channel three, right? Because, you know, back then you had to have a TV tuner to tune it in. And so I thought that was just fascinating that we had to go get a VCR. And uh, he does, definitely does. He takes care of his stuff so like this. This NES right here that we played, uh, oh, I crushed it. Oops. Um, that we played Highlight on, totally his. And, you know, I don't, his, his parents must have, like, you are going to take care of your shit. They must have threatened it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Remembering that we had to do that makes your back hurt. I agree. <laughs> but it was, uh, yeah. Oh, what's this person? Is this a doctor? Is she going to heal me? Yes. 
My god. Here, let's let's save. Okay. I hate I hate the uh Oh, is it? I like how they have little route signs. This is Route 8. You have every console you grew up with. Wow, that's great, Kai. I wish I still had my ColecoVision. That's what I had. I had a ColecoVision. I had a Commodore 64 and 128. I wish I still had both of them. I had an Amiga 500, which I stupidly gave away. All of this stuff I wish, wish I still had. I was excited because I found the original Ultima 6 discs in my Ultima 6 box back there. But I don't have any of that stuff and I wish I wish I I wish I would have kept it. You you're smart. I tell kid I tell kids that nowadays not to throw away your stuff. Keep it. If your mom wants to throw stuff away, don't do it. It you know what? Hearing these games from they they do slight variations so that they sound very similar. Stop right there. Is this Team Rocket? We don't. You know what? We haven't seen like a Team Aqua or Plasma or Rocket. Ha ha ha! We didn't mean to surprise you. How are you and Snorlax doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokédex could possibly cover a region as big, big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we are here to power up your Pokédex. The Coastal Kalos Pokédex was added. Okay. The Coastal Kalos Pokédex will be on your Pokémon Dex menu, so tap it to select it. New encounters help people and Pokémon grow and mature. We'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, the sound, the... What is this? Can I hit that? Ah, oh, Super Potion. I thought that was... Alright, I'm just gonna walk. That's just so annoying. Yeah, I guess I'm not going back. What if I went this up? I can't. Okay. This is weird. Oh, there's a Pokeball. HP up. Ooh. Bag. Uh. Oh. I usually give that to my starter. Assume we go this way? What was that? Oh, it's a person. <laughs> Dream big is what, what I say. You're looking at the future champion after all. Bring it on. Alright. Rising Star Paulette. Axu. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this one. I remember the little blades he has. In his mouth. Mm. That goes pretty good. Ew. Holy shit! He's level 19. Holy crap. Well, that don't hurt, Hodor. Oh, look at that. I paralyzed them, too. Alright, let's... We're gonna switch. I don't remember what he is. It's 
not that. He must be... He's dragon. Oh. Okay. Thought maybe he was rock. I don't know what's good against the dragon. Ice Dragon and Fairy. Okay. I knew Dragon was good against Dragon. I always remember that for some reason. Which, guess what? I don't have any of those. So, we're just going to have to wing it. Well, that wasn't a fairy. Wow, they have an immunity to fire, huh? I guess that makes sense. What about Psychic? This is why fairy types. Yeah, every time I had a dragon previously, uh, they would say, "Well, fairy's good against it," and I was like, "There is no fairy in this in this uh, generation." Perhaps that future champion stuff is all just a dream in the end. Ooh, she was rich. Okay, do I have to go through here? I guess so. Oh my god. Now that's a ghost, if I remember right. So, I don't even know what Amnesia does. Oh, okay, it just raises. Oh, that's, that's boring. Can I... Does Ghost work against Ghost? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's super effective. Maybe he's not Ghost. Or is Ghost good against Ghost? Maybe he's psychic. And I'm misremembering it. Which is... <laughs> to grab the little bloom by its hand. Oh no! Did it explode and hurt Hodor? Oh, I forgot Hodor was already low anyway. Oh, no, wait, they healed us. Anyway. Oh, wait, I should have tried to capture it. What was I thinking? I was thinking I was still battling that kid. You can change the position of a pocket in the bag menu by holding the stylus down on the icon and moving it. Well, thank you. It's a person. According to my predictions, this victory is as good as mine. Now put it them to the test. Rising star Rias. Rise. Rias. Reese. 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 <laughs> ghost is good against ghost. Okay, that's what I that's what I thought. Hey Zab. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see what it was. Anchem. Okay, I think he's fighting. <laughs> no, stop snapping me. Yeah. 
do for a pack down. Well, it's going well. I got a Snorlax. I, I woke him up with the Pucky Flute. It was real time, really well timed, too. <laughs> was it Dark Passenger? No, uh, Lemon Square. Lemon Square. Lemon Square did it. And timed it perfectly with me waking up the, the Snorlax in the game. Odo wants to learn Chip Away. Yes, we will forget. Uh, we will probably forget Amnesia. Or Defensive Pro. We'll do Amnesia. If amnesia was like. Oh, but what? Wait, hold on. What does Chip Away do? Looking for an. Uh, it's a normal. Looking for an uh, opening. The user strikes consistently. Uh, the target stat changes don't affect the Okay. Get rid of amnesia. That's ironic we're gonna forget amnesia. But. Chip away, chip away, chip away. It's a goldeen. Goldeen, goldeen, goldeen. I think. <laughs> Yeah, you did discover that you can do a rim shot too. What's your least favorite Pokemon? My least favorite po Pokemon. Hmm. Don't know her. <laughs> hmm. Let's switch to Izzy. Because if I remember right, Goldeen is uh, grass. No, no, no. It's... It's, oh yeah, yeah, it's that fish. That fucking fish. What was I thinking? Um, my least favorite Pokemon. There's gotta be one. That milk tank. I'll say the milk tank. That was so, that was so scarring. And whichever Pokemon that was. I can't even remember the Pokemon game it was. But that one, that one, that had the milk tank. <laughs> that oh man, that milk tank. I am still scarred by it. Uh, yeah, Whitney's milk tank. Which one was what? Wh which one was Will? <laughs> yeah, everyone hates that one. <laughs> Yo, which, which? Oh shit! It confused me. Shock is confused. It avoided. It avoided my leeching, my seeding. Yeah, your water attacks are not going to be very effective. Was it Gen 2? Yeah. I was real I was real early in my Pokemon uh, journey. Okay. Well, we'll do Vine Whip. I also hate anything that gives me confusion. I will say my 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 most hated state is confusion. Especially when you attack yourself. There was one game where I got an item that dispelled confusion and I thought this was the best item of all time. roll out. Yeah, that's basically what it was. It kept rolling out, rolling out, rolling out, rolling out. And I eventually beat it. I think it's clipped somewhere when I beat it. And it was, oh, I was so happy when I beat it.
Skiddo, Skiddo, Skiddo. I will just keep for now. Because I don't remember. Oh. Yeah. This one, I think. Was this one grass as well? He looks kind of normal, but then he's got that that thing of grass. It's that dang move. It was annoying. It was annoying. Oh yeah, here come the grass attacks. The, the best quality of life change for this version is experience share, not being a whole night on. <laughs> he is cute. I agree. He is a cute Pokemon. If he were a starter, I probably, I might have chosen him. Going this way? Oh, oh look at that. How do I get there? Let me get that to that. Oh, I see. I see now. I will go do that. Oh, but I don't have that. I don't have uh what what would I need to move? I don't remember. Here we're gonna Uh, oh, I don't. You're right. I will. Um, I will try and capture this one. Thank you for reminding me. Strength. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Here, it's paralyzed, so we're going to try and Pokeball it. right because it's a ghost. Hopefully it won't kill it. I think it killed it. Oh well. I was hoping it wouldn't kill it, but it did. Oh wait. We already said we can't do it do that, so this up in the air like this my machop ooh machop fighting and, and I walk these mountain paths in our bare feet think you can take us on oh yeah the black belts always have fighting Pokemon too it's kind of cute and 3d Here, we're gonna we're gonna keep uh, Snorlax here. Holy shit! <laughs> that was super effective. Oh, fighting versus normal. Yeah, that's right. I didn't think about that. That was not a not a good uh, that's not a good co uh, combination. So let's bring out Flappy Bird. 
I think it's weird that flying is good against fighting. It, it, I always think of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, you know, and Tippy Hedron. We'll just assume Tippy Hedron is a fighting Pokemon. And uh, that's how I remember it. And y'all are, you're old. Actually, I don't, I am younger than Alfred Hitchcock's The Bird. <laughs> just for the record. That came out in the 60s. I was born in the 70s. Yeah, Flappy Bird did evolve. There we go. Almost. Don't karate chop it. Ew, my bird! I don't have a fighting Pokemon yet, so... I did leave one at the daycare, so I'm hoping I can come back by and pick it up later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't feel bad. I... I always say I'm the, um, I, you gotta remember this is my first playthrough of Pokemon, so I am not a Pokemon expert, so I do not feel bad about forgetting these things. <laughs> it appears that building a thick skin on one's feet does not make one stronger in battle. That birds gave you nightmares as a kid? So it was filmed, wow, it was filmed close to you, okay. Well, that's cool, Zeb. Oh, wait, is that something? No. Okay. These little rock things. I guess we have to go this way. Okay, what is this? A god. I don't know what that is. the buzz <laughs> oh it's dragon that's right we we encountered him earlier which i don't really have anything to fight the dragon so i don't remember what twin needle does Eh, not too bad. Wait, wait, this is... We could try and capture this, couldn't we? And then we would have a dragon. Alright, let's... Um, oh, not Pokemon. Let's try and poison it. That way it has a status effect. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jaisu's in... You, you have so much faith in uh, in my capturing. Oh, good, it got poisoned. All right, we've got to capture it, or it may die. It may die anyway. We'll see how bad the poison is. Oh, it didn't die. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I said yes earlier, and it and it broke out of that last animation. So, all right, Chaiser, what do you want to name it? Its well-developed neck muscles and iron-like head can smash boulders into pieces. What was it? Crusher. E R U S H. Oh my god. H. Sure.
So should we go get Crusher and put him in our party? It would be cool to have a dragon. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, can I go? Can I do these? Oh my goodness. Leaf stone. That must help uh, certain grass Pokemon. Well, wait, let's see what it does. He's a he's a cool dragon. Okay. Wait, no, not Pokemon. Back. A particular stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. Okay, that's what I thought it was at first. Okay, so I can't go that way. Okay, I see. I see. Oh. Okay. Oh, but I can't go that way. Okay. Aha, I did it. Hey, we made it. Hi there, neighbor. What, she already made it? What? She, she just walks right up. A lot of patience to evolve it. Takes a very long time. Ah, interesting. Oh, no, they had a fire. Oh, my goodness. I love going to Google Street View and looking at places I used to live. <laughs> I do that with Austin. I used to live, I went to the University of Texas and uh, I, go, I do that with Austin all the time just to see which, how it's changed. You just go through the aquarium to get to Prilage City, but first we should go to the fossil lab and have them tell us about fossils. We might even learn something about those mysterious stones related to mega evolution. She's always talking about mega evolution. just flies and twirls down. That's basically it. Yeah, all right, if we were to get rid of a Pokemon and bring in the other, that dragon type Pokemon, what should we do? We're keeping, we're keeping Snorlax. So don't even think about that. And we're keeping Izzy, Flappy Bird, Normal Flying. Might be good to keep. Um, I like Jacques. I like the Bulbasaur. Panpour, I could live without Panpour, but you know, our only water Pokemon. Uh, Buzz, if I were to get rid of one, it may be Buzz. You know, Poison Bug, not that great. What do y'all think? Get rid of Buzz. Or just not, uh, yeah, I gotta keep Jock, I agree. Get rid of, you love Breedle. Get rid of Sprinkle. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the the pores, the pan pour and all of those, and the, uh, what is it, the, the grass pour, <laughs> and the fire pour, whatever. Though I don't, I'm just not a fan. So I agree with that. Yeah. Let's withdraw. And we're gonna withdraw. There he is, Crusher. 
Oh, no. Oh, we're gonna wanna go and reheal. That's another thing that the, because I played all of them, the music is the same. So I rock out to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, Pokey Center. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so let's look at our Pokemon again. I like keeping them in a certain order. So let's, uh, let's put Crusher first so they can level up. And then everyone else is kind of in the order I like. All right, let's save again. Actually, let's uh, we're gonna save and we're gonna play some uh, Bryce Quest. I always plug in the 3DS <laughs> when we take a break. There you go. Excel, uh, exclamation mark join if you'd like to play some fries quest. Hand pour and semi pour aren't amazing. Yeah, okay. I will unlock it if, if uh, there's no new players in a second. There we go. Book slap. And lemon square. And you'll notice, FriesQuest.com, I did a whole, there's a new, uh, basically the instruction manual to Fry's Quest I wrote. So you can go check that out and uh, look at all the different things. I feel like it's pretty simple. I try to put all the commands right here, but the commands are kind of outgrowing this list. Like that list is pretty long and I'm working on new player appearance. So I may have to just remove player appearance from here and just say, go look at Fry's Quest. You played last game. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's right. Thank you. Do you want me to keep it on? <laughs> I'm just sitting here rocking out to it, and I'm I'm. It didn't even register that it was still playing. Yeah, I play. I I uh, listen to the monitor. If you if you use OBS, uh, you should isolate your headphones so that you're hearing exactly what uh, you're streaming. And so everything that I'm streaming minus my own voice, so I don't want to sit there and listen to my own voice, uh, I listen to, I monitor. And so if there's any other like audio, like when I raid someone, I have to flip that off as soon as possible so that I can hear what they're saying because uh, I have all the other audio and if it's not going out on the stream, I can't hear it. So anyway, I will be right back. Let's see you in a second.
day only. 2% off when you spend 10000 or more. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for action. I reformulated my potions with 25% less lead. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Don't you know who my husband is? Get out of here!
Welcome to Neil's Deals. Where else are you gonna go? Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Any value that has is totally wasted on you. Give him hell, kiddo. Ah. How's the battling going? Thank you, Dark Passenger. And chasing. It's very battle-ish. Battle-ish. <laughs> A lot of golems. Yeah, I don't see any golems this time, so it must have been the previous. <laughs> well, definitely, you know, if you're a low-level character, you should be attacking the low-level characters because they may actually target you. Uh, the high-level ones probably won't target you, but you should target the ones if you're like, yeah, you should be targeting the evil mage. And now maybe the green dragon. The green dragon only has 10 protection. So that's probably the next one you want to target if you're low level. If you're a high level character, uh, you know, it's up to you what you want to do, how you want to approach it. There could be, you know, hey, let's all get the lower level ones. Let's do the weaker ones first. Um, yeah. 
Oh, that's true. The dragon turtle also has 10. So that would be a good one. And the dragon turtle actually, I think, does more damage than the green dragon. Maybe. Those spikes. Low level monsters? Yeah. Yeah, well, you're level 4, so that makes sense. Big hit. Two Platinum Dragons is pretty tough. Although, the level 22 is weaker than the level 24. Has less protection. The 13 is pretty good protection, though. Yeah, they did. 347, 318. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's kind of what happened last game, right? The higher level ones died, and then no one could really, like, fight them. Yeah, there's, I mean, the Platinum Dragon obviously is supposed to be the toughest one. I think Richard is uh, AFK. Because <laughs> they didn't heal during the uh, mid-battle either. Prestige really made the balance of high-level dragons kind of busted. Yeah. I mean, it, it resets the, uh, the, you won't, if, let's say everyone, everyone, um, prestiged and everyone was level one, you wouldn't see dragons, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but they, you know what you're not seeing anymore? Six platinum dragons, right? You're seeing one or two. Where before we would see six platinum dragons, and that's why Prestige <laughs> was introduced, was because of that. Because I was like, well, I'm going to be adding, you know, higher and higher and higher level characters just to, or monsters just to keep up with the leveling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. And it can happen. Like what's happening right now? Who who do we have? Yeah, see right now this is this is bad, right? Yeah. Who's the highest level? Kai? There you go, you hit. But you're gonna be like the only one. And the well, Lemon Square. Lemon Square should probably heal. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want it to be too easy either, right? Oh, 
man, they are taking pieces out of you. Well, if you can get this Platinum Dragon down, there you go. Book Slap hit the Platinum Dragon. Three hits in a row. Oh, so close. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, down to one. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That now it's over. They got two tacks in a row. This is fine. Ah, uh, that, oh, yes. <laughs> I think, I think it was Chaisu that hit Did that you dragon. Sleep and forget to use your potion again. Yeah, there's two, three potions still there. <laughs> well, you got it down to one dragon. It's unusual too. That's two, two, two uh, uh, defeats. It, where it feels like it's been weeks since a defeat. <laughs> All right. Baked. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are in a new city. Okay. Here, trainer, use this TM. It's Rock Smash. May also lower other Pokemon's ability to defend itself. That makes up for what it lacks in power. Hmm. Working with the monsters. <laughs> oh, that's the aquarium. She said hey, we have to go to the aquarium at one, some point. I'm very peculiar about the speed of Pokemon. That's why I wondered if we have any Pokemon with a speed of 123 or greater with you. Worry not, there's more to Pokemon than speed, but what I'd really like to see today is a Pokemon with speed greater than 123. Okay. What? Hundred and twenty-three? Holy crap. Yeah, none of mine are close to that. Hi, guess what? I heard that some Pokemon can evolve during a battle. Did you know that? I did know that. There are lots of stones that can bring out new Pokemon. Uh, the Kalos region just so happens to have a lot of stones that make me think that anything could happen here. Yay. Oh. That was the first trash can I checked. <laughs> All right, let's. What is this? Ah, the lab. She said we should go to the lab. Talk to the scientist person. You must have come to the fossil lab because you like fossils. Nope. If you have a Pokemon called. Was it Genesect? With you, please let me know, all right? I don't. Go ahead. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Wait for me! Welcome, future archaeologist. Well, that's very presumptuous of him. You were drawn here by the mystique of 
futsals, no doubt. My name is Serena, and this is j Fives. We're researching Mega Evolution, and we were wondering if you know anything about it. Oh, so you're Professor Sycamore's students. <laughs> Our reputation precedes us. You've, I've heard about you. Mega Evolution, you say. I'm sorry, but all I know is that it has something to do with mysterious stones. Since, still, since you're students of the professor, you must know about Pokemon fossils, correct? No. How unexpected. I would have thought Professor Sycamore students would know the basics. Listen well, fossils are the legacy of Pokemon from the distant past. I think you should definitely go to the dig site and see the real thing. Oh, I see. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then... Hold on. Pokemon that can be restored from fossils just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. The assistant in Glittering Cave, right now might know about that. What should we do? Well, since I'm already here, maybe I should go talk with to that assistant. Are you going to Glittering Cave, J Meister? Sure, we'll go to Glittering Cave. We have a machine that restores fossils and turns them back to Pokemon, but only that the assistant in Glittering Cave knows how to use it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> right. The all-knowing Mr. Sycamore did not uh, educate us in that. Where's Glittering Cave? Oh wait, that goes somewhere. Was that the cave that was back the other way? I think we went in here. Yeah, these are those weird people. Um, oh, there's more to this town. I wonder how strong the Smeargle I left at the daycare has become. You know about Schmeargle's move sketch? It takes the move the other Pokemon used and make it its own. Yeah, y'all y'all educated me on that. I assume it's like Schmeagle. Schmeagle. Schmeagle from Lord of the Rings. I think we'll know all about that in Lord of the Rings Golem. We'll learn all about Schmeagle. Welcome to Hotel Ambriet. Thank you. Traveling trainer? Why don't you use this? Nature power. Nature power becomes a different move depending on the place it's used. I hope it will add fun to your journey. No. <laughs> Hey, I got something rare from a customer. I had a chat with the customer several times and we hit it off. Good for you. Your fur 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 is loose. Those need to be on leashes. Here, please put your Pokemon on a leash. Oh, it's another hotel with no doors. Check it out, I never dropped the balls. Okay. That's kind of personal. Oh no, it's this guy. Hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on O powers. Let me ask you, just in case, do you need to hear an explanation about O powers? No. Hey, that's my friend. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. You receive an O power from Mr. Bonding. You can now use special defense power level one. All right, you can use O powers from the PSS and uh, okay, okay. And then Poofy's gone. He's creepy. He is a creepster. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Creepy again. But I can just kind of walk, watch the. Why can't I just sit here? Okay. Okay. I think. I want to say that the crystal. The caves were back this way. Bum, 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 bum. 
come oh here comes the the drifloon again we'll try and capture it The kidnapper. <laughs> oh, Richard thinks I'm gonna capture it, but I killed it. So, <laughs> sorry. Oh, oh, it. Yeah, no, I died. But did it hurt me? It hurt me. Well, if I if I run into another one, you can uh, you can name that one. I'm surprised I didn't hit. There we go. Hopefully it's not one I already have. Oh my goodness. It's a horde. A horde of them. A horde of sand gooses. And one. Zviper. Oh. Well, we will, um. Not Lear. We will bite the Zangus. Oh, it's attacking the snake. <laughs> they must not like the snake either. Oh, it's attacking them. This is weird. I've never seen other Pokemon attacking other Pokemon. I gained the experience from that. Oh, are they enemies? Well, I'm going to try and capture one of them. Are they not attacking? Oh, no, they are attacking. Get out of here. They seem to be fighting, so we're gonna bring in Flappy Bird. Oh, I guess you're right. They're mongooses and snakes. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little Leer animation. Many of them. How was that? Yeah, it's definitely, they definitely have uh, uh, made the animations so much, or the, uh, the, the animations, the graphics, they definitely did a good job. 
this is definitely a big upgrade. Yeah, this is not good. I don't know if I'm going to survive this one. Yeah, it, that's what it seems like. They really went all out because it was the first 3DS game. They really wanted to take advantage of the 3D-ness of it. But what's, what happens if I turn the 3D on? Nothing, really. Okay. <laughs> um... Just go with Izzy. Yeah, I, I did like the uh, story with Black. I thought it was really good. They definitely, like, elevated it. When they elevated just, like, the the gym leaders all of a sudden became characters, too. Right? Not just people to defeat. Oh, wait. What? 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 Fire spin. The target becomes trapped within a fierce vortex of fire that rages for four to five turns. Um, I don't know. I feel like I should just get rid of uh, Scratch. I was hoping, you know, I'd be kind of unique streaming X since it's on the 3DS and it's not easy to stream off the 3DS. And so I'd kind of get people watching me. Uh, oh my goodness. Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is pretty good. I guess maybe poison. I, I'm gonna get rid of poison powder because it really doesn't do anything except poison someone. And takedown is pretty good. Although what I don't like about takedown is it also damn it has recoil. I don't like that. All right, we will lose poison powder. Just everyone to keep sloughing up. Hopefully I won't kill it and I'll be able to capture it. And I killed it. Yeah, I, I had forgotten that it had recoil. But I feel like if I seed it, then I'm like, uh, I get kind of the recoil back. Okay, we were, what? Hopefully it won't be, oh, it's just one of them this time.
Oh, he's level 14 this time, so. <laughs> so maybe Izzy won't actually crush it. Uh, let's try it. We'll do Flame Charge. Maybe it won't do as much damage. Yeah, it didn't. There we go. Alright, now we will try and capture it. So, Richard, you still have that redemption in. So, do you have... What do you want to name this Zangoose? Hopefully you're still there. It has feuded with Seviper. So, there it is. Feuded with Z uh, Seviper. For many generations, its sharp claws are its biggest weapon. All right, Richard, are you there? There you go, Yakuza, there you go. <laughs> I was going back here. <laughs> Do it. This is me forgetting what I was doing. Oh, here's the Drifloon. All right, he's Ghost. So, here, let's go to Hodor. And hopefully Hodor doesn't... Uh... Yeah, third time's a charm. Hodor doesn't kill it. You can't gust, Hodor. Come on. Not gonna do anything. <laughs> Zab? Alright. Hmm. Alright, we will try because I'm afraid one more lick uh, will kill it, so we're gonna try and, and catch it this time. Maybe too early. Oh, I did! I captured it. There you go. Alright, Sab, what do you want to name it? Ghost Flying. A Pokemon formed by the spirits of people and Pokemon. It loves damp, humid seasons. So it loves Florida. It's Florida Balloon. Busty. <laughs> Who is, uh, Balloony? I'm sorry, I was, uh, Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Busty. And yes, I know Phineas and Ferb. Busty. B-U-S-T-Y. I don't know if you can show Busty on Twitch anymore. I think you could do for a couple of days and then they kind of shut that down. <laughs> I was trying to go up here. And this is for... Did we... No, we came from here. And then we came down here. And then, yeah, then we came through here. And then 
then she can heal us. Oh my god. <laughs> I do have a map. But I, I was, I thought, oh, I got attacked in the cave. Per ah, Paranaplatypus. <laughs> your time, your timing was so unexpected. And when I say unexpected, I mean completely expected. <laughs> there, how's that? <laughs> oh, wait, oh, cr Crusher's okay now. All right, this, Wimsmer. Hmm. Okay, that was good. Oh my goodness. That was an uproar. I'm going to do one more bite and then we're going to try and capture it. Hopefully it doesn't kill me with that uproar. Holy crap, it killed Crusher. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Lemon Square. <laughs> well, we're going to have to... Um, we have to go back and heal. Fortunately, we're not that far. It's funny, I was just going to throw a Pokeball at it. Wismer. All right, who wants to name the Wismer? Wismer, probably. Cool whip. Why do you say it that way? It usually murmurs, but starts crying loudly if it senses danger. It stops when its ears covered or shut. Does anyone want to name it? Otherwise, I will name it. Oh, Zab wants to name it. What would you name it, Zab? I will, I will drink Diet Coke. While you decide. Or maybe you've already decided and you're just typing. Screech. Like from Saved by the Bell? That was Screech, right? <laughs> Was that really what you were naming it after? <laughs> so I thought the cave was this one. Oh, you're right. This is completely not the way I should have been going. I'm going completely the wrong direction. I was like, I know where the cave is, but I should have known it wasn't going to have me go back so far. I should have known. Ah. 
<laughs> oh, look at this. This is like looking in a mirror. is what rage does. Okay. Oh, okay. It builds. Switch out Pokemon. Crusher learned headbutt. this. Yeah, let's go to the Poké Center. Wow, there's a long distance between the first gym leader and the second gym leader. I have not fought a gym leader since the first stream and here we are on stream four. That was the cave right there. Holy crap. Oh, are you going to search for fossils in Glittering Cave? You'll have to ride on a Rhyhorn to get there in that case. Riding Rhyhorn is so much fun. You can even pretend that you're the famous Rhyhorn racer, Grace. That's my mom. I like to ride Rhyhorn too. Yeah, I bet you do. Press the A button to find a way over the clay. To find a way over the clay. That little ditty will teach you how. Press A button to find a way over the clay. Okay. 
Pokemon moves that come in direct physical contact with the target are direct attacks. If you want to do something about them, you can try this. Ooh, Rocky Helmet. Makes a direct attack. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Why, thank you. Uh, let's give that to... We're just going to give it to Izzy. Oh, wait. Izzy's already has something. What is your item? Oh, my goodness. I just wanted to see what the item was. It's a Chesto Berry. Well, there you go. Strawberry. Somewhere near level 20. Yeah, so there's probably enough. You need to be able to level up enough to take it on. That makes sense. Wait, did he not get the berry? Yes. Rhyhorn. Oh, here's the Rhyhorn. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I guess I have to go. Oh, and then we're going to get attacked while we're riding a Rhyhorn? Oh my god, what is this? What the hell is this? It's a hippopotas. I think I remember that. It just didn't look like this. <laughs> oh, it's ground. It's ground. Uh, okay. Oh, I don't have any water Pokemon anymore. Oh, grass. Have different looks. Got it. Uh, I always like to start out with a leech seed. I like seeding the Pokemon. Oh, it didn't do it. I didn't do it. Avoided it. Ah, the sandstorm subsided. Wow, he is avoiding it. Fine with. Is 
gonna say, how do you avoid all these leaves floating up in the air and then attacking you? Does not seem possible. Oh, this must be what it was talking about. Oh, and then I get attacked. Oh, I should have, I should have attacked. I, I forget this is a wild, I can Pokemon get it, so. I will, uh, his sand stream. I will, uh, attempt to, uh, nope, nope. Oh, what does Restore do? seed it. Just so that we can try and recover some of it. I, I am going to. Right, me off this attraction. <laughs> Is that how you stop them? That's how you stop the, the sand stream. We were going to try Vine Whip. That seemed to work better last time. Okay, now we're going to try and capture it. Oh, is it trying to... No. That makes me fall asleep. I'm going to steal your health. I need to get more Pokeballs. There you go. Hippopotas. Does someone want to name the Hippopotas? It lives in arid places. Instead of presper perspiration, it expels grainy sand from its body. <laughs> All right. Neil wants to name it Fat Ass. I didn't even know Neil was paying attention, but... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> No, I've been here for a while. Yeah. There we go. Can I hop off? Oh, can he? Oh, yeah. Here. Now, how do I get off the pokey? the thing. <laughs> there we go. I just had to kind of hold B down. X defense. I don't like the X stuff. I always forget to use them. Oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness, it's a, oh, it's a sand dial. I definitely remember the sand dials. Yeah, ag agreed, Lemon Square. Well, what does Restore do? Okay. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's kind of a handy thing. All 
I've been sucked to tick torment. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing sunglasses. Make me angry. Don't torment me. Oh, <laughs> I killed it. That don't use them, yeah. heal. That's good. I see there's a little path here that I would not have noticed. Ooh, the Firestone. I would assume that's for Fire Pokemon evol Evolution. Certain species of Pokemon evolved. Got it. Yeah. And here we go again. Oh, I should have saved. Oh, it's another sand isle. Maybe I'll capture this one. Maybe we won't go so hard. Maybe we'll just. I won't do enough though. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Can I get out of my sand tomb? Or am I trapped? Yeah, I can't be switched out because I'm in my sand tomb. I don't know why I'm saying it that way. Sand tomb. No, oh, you can't take the Texas out of the boy. I know, I guess not. Headbutt. I'm gonna headbutt you. That was good. Alright, let's, um... I will, uh... Throw a Pokeball. Nope. Try one more hit. I'm doing... Nope. No. Nope. Headbutt. Oh, because I've been tormented. Ah. I forgot about that. What Torment did. Can I get out of this? Okay. Now we're going to try and capture it again. See, I wish I would have gotten more Pokeball. Oh, Lemon Square wants to name the... Yep. It was captured. <laughs>
It moves along below the sand's surface, except for its nose and eyes. A dark membrane shields its eyes from the sun. So it is supposed to be like sunglasses. All right, Lemon Square, what would you like to name him? Tick-Tock Croc. <laughs> will that fit? We will find out. Is that a Peter Pan reference? It definitely seems like you have more space in this version. We are... Oh, man, that was perfect. Did you plan that? <laughs> All right, let's... I do, I do need to in the stream. All right, we're going to try one more. All right, well now we don't need to capture him. We will crush him. actually work. There we go. I just love the animation of Razor Leaf. It's bedtime for me. Yeah. Is it bedtime for you, Chaizu, as well? That's why we're going to wrap it up. The earlier games, it would allow less characters because of Japanese characters basically working double duty. That's true. Yep. I had to program back when, yeah, you, every bit of memory counted, and uh, it took twice as many uh, memory to store uh, Japanese characters or Chinese characters or any of those uh, with Unicode. All right, let's. Uh, we'll just save. Okay, and we're in the middle of nowhere. I can save. That's one thing I do like about Pokemon, at least. I think all of them have been able to do that, right? You can just save anywhere. So. Only an hour behind? Yeah. I mean, it's 121. That's one, of, one reason I added the time over there, so you could see, like, what time it was where I'm at. <laughs> well, thanks, everyone, for being here. Thank you so much. This was a fun stream. I really enjoyed it. Played a few... Played, what... Uh, hook off the arcade machine and played a lot of Pokemon and a lot of Fry's Quest. Thanks, Zab. And thanks, Shizu. Um, thanks, everyone. Growlithe Cub, thank you. And Lemon Square. Um, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern and on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. I will be back tomorrow afternoon. Some places you couldn't save in some games. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, if you can't be here live, go check out. I put everything over at YouTube. Um, I've started not... I started... Because I one thing I, I need from YouTube is like a switch to say, make public once it's in HD. Once the HD thing... Because uh, once it gets uploaded, sometimes it'll flip it and then it's in low res. And it's like, who wants to watch a video in low res and so I'm like don't I don't even publish it so I just wait until the high res is done processing and then I make it live so sometimes it's not till the next morning or sometimes noon by the time and I and I start uploading it right when I'm done just one res <laughs> okay you standard definition versus hey okay all right yeah. Neil's, Neil's an old res type of guy. A standard deaf guy. Wouldn't you say? Look. <laughs> you know, there's... No, no, no HDTV format that I've seen has been uh -huh. able to deal with any fast motion. Yeah, And so, I don't care how fucking crystal clear it is when they're still... If you can't deal with movement when they're moving... Like, ever, ever, like, uh, like... Oh, New Year's just happened, and they threw confetti. Yeah, and that will it can never fuck up that picture. 
Yeah, it never it never does it. It was interesting. So the stream that I did of Earthbound when the screen was going all like crazy, the resolution of my whole stream went down because of that. And I thought that was interesting. Um, anyway. <laughs> it does. It gets very pixelated. Oh, what I was going to say is now there's HDMI 2.1 so that we can do, uh, I don't know, like 8K, 10K, 60 frames per yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. So, not that... I don't think... I, well, I think the PS5 does that can do those resolutions. But anyway... Yeah, exactly. We went and saw Oppenheimer on IMAX. And talk about seeing people's, like, skin pores. We were like, like... <laughs> and people, it's like, it was, we were too close, basically. We sat a little too close. Maybe two rows too close. Anyway, thanks. Thanks to all these people right here. They're my subscribers. Thank you, subscribers. They get ad free viewing and all those emotes. Thank you so much. It is, sometimes it is just too much, too close. <laughs> I I was just thinking, well, I mean, I do so much um, retro that I, the, getting a new capture card that does HDMI 2.1 is not high on my list. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, subscribers. As always, you don't need to subscribe. Just hanging out with me, being here. My goal is just to have viewers right now, so come on and hang out with me. Spe speaking of that, well, there's our raid messages, but I was thinking of that. There's our Discord if you want to hang out in the Discord. Between streams. It's a very low maintenance Discord. <laughs> I look at it. I look at my own Discord. All right. Let me go see who we can raid. Over here. I don't normally have my second monitor available. It's usually for the console that I'm streaming from. That's unusual. Let's see who is. Joe is doing. Let's see if anyone from Team Overture. These nuts. Uh... <laughs> is there really someone called these nuts? There probably is. You say that, but I bet you there is someone called that. A lot of people I've raided recently, and I was trying not to do that. Here, we'll do this. We'll go over to Prodigious Beat, who is playing. Oops, I almost typed it in their chat. Do not type raid in people's chat. It'd be cool if you go in someone else's chat and type slash raid, and it would just raid them, but... Uh, they're playing Tomb Raider, the first first one, and it is a first playthrough. That's kind of cool. All right. Thank you so much, so much, so much, so much for being here. I hope you all have a great weekend. Hope to see you here tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock Eastern, uh, for some more Pokemon X. Till then, stay safe. Love you all. Bye. So, Hi. There you go. <laughs> I was going to say, say it again, Neil. <laughs> Bye. Night all. See you, Lemon Square. <laughs>